Okay, so in this part, we're going to upload the binaries that we built to our Pathfinder server and set on your uh, game scene to basically go look for those binaries. And so the method I preferred for this is to put all the binaries uh, into a separate stream. And for that, what I do is I create a file, new, new stream. Um, give it a name, so I just give on the game scene. And I chose mainline stream just to be able to basically like if uh, in a later stage that we need to do some kind of a separate development on Unreal Game Sync itself, we can just continue from this. But since it's also related to the Unreal Engine 5, so I just basically put it into the same depot with the previous uh, branches. And yep, I just add um, proper definition to it, let's say greater by me. Um, to store EGS executables and dependencies and just click OK. Uh, so this time as you can see I'm not creating another workspace for a separate stream, I'm just keeping it in the same workspace. And it's not associated, so yes I want to change and I don't want to get any files because it's already here. So now I'm working here in on the engine to new create a stream. You can see it also here. And if you look at it, it's actually empty. So what we're going to do is I like I did before. So I'm just gonna control S here and in the development branch I'm gonna create a new folder called internal tools. And inside I'm gonna create another folder called Unreal Game Sync. And inside this, I'm going to create another one called release. And it, to this, we are going to add everything that we built in the previous step. So if you go to again inside engine, source, programs, on your game sync, you have the bin, release, now core apps, everything that you've created in the previous step, copy, paste, and done. So in this version, I have 29 items inside. Then go back to your Perforce, refresh, and now we have internal tools here. So what you're going to do is basically add everything under this to the stream that you just created called Unreal Games. And add everything. Check your pending. So you see all these files. Click submit. Uh, adding UGS executables to mm, a game scene. Let's say stream on your game scene. Then submit. Now everything in your server, check your depot, you have the annual game sync, internal tools, annual game sync and release. So this location is quite important. So you need to copy this and keep it. Then, uh, assuming you have the Unreal Game Sync installed, you can just go again. But if you're not, just go back. And this is the Internet Tools one. So just go to Unreal Game Sync, Installer, then Release. Here you go. Just install it. And be careful here because if you install it without removing it uh, in your add program section, you're going to see multiple Unreal Game Sync applications. And so mine opened Unreal Game Sync instantly, but yours might start with the uh, launcher itself. Uh, but eventually, the thing you need to do is, is the same. You're going to give the server address, you're going to give the user and you're going to give the depot path and this depot path is the one that we just copied which uh, it, the Unreal Game Sync itself is going to find these binaries so the one that you copied here so it needs to lead to a folder called release that has the sync exit, the pdb, the dls and everything else and as we mentioned before so if you want to use the unstable build this is where you can put a check mark and then it's going to look for a folder called unstable release instead of the release and just to show you like when you have the proper path, if you click OK, it's just going to go. But 
let's say we just did this, it's gonna say yeah, cannot find release, I'm gonna click exit. And yeah, with this you're basically ready. So you can just open the project. I'm just gonna go to my workspace that I created for this. The, as you can see here, the development. And inside the pad, since I have no projects, I'm gonna select the new project here and click OK. OK. And here you go. So basically, I, I'm doing this for the second time. I did a test run before, so I added them, then I removed it. And this is the last one to change this. Uh, 399 added the uh, exit rules to stream manual games. And yeah, you can right click and sync this, and you're good to go.